I'm working on very long chain polyunsaturated fatty acids, a class of compounds that are found in only a few tissues in our body. One place they're found is the retina of the eye, and the other place is in sperm. Uh, we know that a mutation in a gene uh, that encodes the protein that makes these fatty acids in humans will cause Stargardt-like macular dystrophy, which is a juvenile onset macular degeneration that begins to affect children in the second decade of their life. Our project is to find a way to make these fatty acids so that we can provide them to children uh, who are going blind and uh, to men who are infertile. We think it is the lack of the fatty acids. The uh, gene that makes that expresses the protein that makes these fatty acids is mutated in this disease. In the males that are infertile, there, there's no mutation. But in, in the, the children that are going blind with Stargardt-like macular dystrophy, there is a mutation. And in the animal models we have of this disease, we find that their retina does not contain these fatty acids. The goal is in the next two years of, of this project, is to develop a system where we can make these fatty acids either chemically or biologically. Uh, we have what we need to make them biologically and thanks to the funding from the Harrington Discovery Institute, we're going to be able within the next 12 to 18 months, we hope to have a system that we can ramp up to make huge amounts. I was very pleased and surprised when I received the call that the Harrington Discovery Institute was going to fund our research. Surprised because there was a lot of competition from across the country, but I've come to realize that they look for projects like these that may be risky but would have a high payoff. I've never had a team that really wanted me to be successful that was always there to help from all aspects, from the financial aspects, from the marketing aspects, from just thinking about the project and providing input. And that's what this group has done. I was very delighted that the Harrington Discovery Institute decided to fund us. And I'm certain that with the help from them and the contacts that we're now making with people who will contribute to this project, we'll be able to be successful in the next year and a half.